clip we're going to make a scoring game that encourages adding up to see who's got the highest score. For this project we need some cardboard, a pen, some scissors and a marble. It's based on a castle which we're going to make from cardboard. So the first thing we need is a piece of cardboard quite long and much narrower at both ends. And we're going to fold it in half with the long ends together. Try to get that fairly, fairly neat. Once you've got the long ends together, you can squeeze it at the top and make a fold. Check that it stands up fairly evenly. Yes, that looks fine. Now then, along that folded edge, you need to make a little mark about as wide as a finger space. So I'm putting my finger and a mark, a finger and a mark all the way along the folded edge. And then we're going to cut down those spaces with my scissors. So a little cut, there's a mark, so a little chop and then stop. A chop and a stop. One chop, don't go any further than that, just one chop. All the way along, wherever there's a mark, do a little chop. All the way along we've chopped and we've stopped. Now open it up and we can see the pattern. Now this is where you need the other finger to push. Leave that one standing up and push that one down. One up, push one down. One up, down, up, down, up. Now then, you can see that a pattern starting to form. Close it up again, close it up and make sure those down ones have stayed down. Don't let them pop up again. And when they've all gone down, you can press it firmly and you've got your castle. Now then, we want the doors into the castle. And this is the important bit because this is where the scoring goes. I think I'm going to do square doors on my castle that go like that. So all you need to do is... I'm going to do three. You can do more if you want, but three should be enough. Three doors on my castle. I'm not doing back doors, I'm just doing front doors. So where that door edges, cut up and then cut along. Then that door will open wide. I think I'll just do scores that I can add together, then it won't be too difficult. I'm going to do, you get a ten. If you, if you get the marble through the middle door. If you get a side door, let's say three and if you get this side door I think I'll call that one a five. There's a few different scores on my castle now. If you want to decorate your castle you can put some bricks on it or some stones on it. Just draw them on to make it look a bit fancy and then you need your scoring ramp, your launch ramp. So that's another piece of card and you need to fold up the edges so that your marble can't escape. Fold up one edge, fold the other edge, so you've got a shoot. And to make the shoot a little bit higher, I'm going to do a cut and a cut. That's two, ch a chop and stop there and a chop and stop there and fold that flap down. Now, that makes a slide. And with any luck, we'll see what I can score, say. Move that one out of the way. Let's see if I can get a 10. I'm aiming down the middle, marble down there, Ready, aim, fire! Yes! Add up your score and see who the winner is.